Yeah, yeah. Go and play that. Take you down, I'ma say that. Money, me a couple dollars. Telling you now, this payback. Huh, so I swear take that. Ask them now, we'll say that. I've been going to the top and I got what they not, so I know that they hate that. Uh, but I'm on now. Okay, you guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the number 9th best player voted by the players, reacted to by me, in the NFL for 2019. His name is Julio Jones. It's some alliteration, although it's a silent J. I remember back in the day when I... <laughs> I think I looked up... I might put a little clip of it in here, actually. I looked up the top 10 fastest players in the NFL. This is way back in the day. And I think Julio Jones must have come up on the list, and I said it was Julio Jones. But look, you're not going to hold it against me, are you? Alright you guys, what is going on? It's Jacob here. We are about to watch the top 10 fastest players in the NFL 2017. I've had a few uh, recommendations of people to watch, but the last video I watched was Darren Sproles. I'm very interested to see where he um, comes in the top 10 in 2017, so let's sit back. Relax and uh, watch this. I love fast players, man. I fucking love it. Julio Jones. 11.13 high school. Oh, I guess they don't really time the 100 meters, do they? Oh, he's got some big strides, the big man. Look at him go. He's probably about six foot five or something. He looks like a big guy. Oh, we get another one, yes. Come on, go big man, play fins him off. Oh, what a try, what a touchdown. I bet he slammed it in the ground after that. I know it now, Julio Jones, five and a half minutes long. His top 10 videos are a bit longer, which is sick. We've got absolutely living legends, bro. Living legends in the game of football are gonna be in this top 10. We started it off in the last video with, with, uh, with Von Miller. Uh, defensive end for the Broncos and uh, in today's video we're going to be going with Julio Jones wide receiver for the Falcons so I'm going to roll the intro and see you back here shortly to check him out the quicker you're here the faster you go that's why where I come from the only thing we know is oh. by the way these are my pads this is my helmet for the, the Monash Warriors, and uh, I'm number 24. So my first ever number on a football field was 24, and I'll never forget it. All right, guys, Julio Jones. Look, top at my position, oh, that's a good question. Oh, shit, it's uh, me, man. Julio, Julio, yeah, I put Julio. Why? He does all the small things right, and he's just like that. He's fucking fast, he's fucking explosive, he's fucking big. Listen to him. Actually, the one thing I do remember from watching him last year was that he's, he's loud. He's real loud on the field. Every single, like, little movement, you know, he, uh, he makes a sound. He's kind of like Serena Williams, the Serena Williams of, of uh, American football. But hey, who's the best player in female tennis? Serena Williams. We missed that. <laughs> that was amazing! That was amazing! I've never seen that before. I was not expecting that. A receiver loses the ball, gets the ball gets intercepted. He doesn't give a shit, he just goes in and fucking tackles him before he even knows about it. Wow wee. He 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 sacrificed that pass early because he knew he wasn't gonna get it and he just absolutely lined up the guy who intercepted it. That was fucking sick. Wow. That's the closest thing to rugby I have seen so far guys. An offensive player making a tackle. Because in rugby, there's no offense and defense. You do absolutely everything. There's going to be some guys in the field that prefer running with the ball, like myself. There's going to be some guys in the field that prefer to tackle, like some other guys. Julio Jones, you're the first guy 
I've seen that's killer on offense and killer on defense. You'd make my rugby team. Look at this. Loses the ball, sees the play, and smashes him. To make sure there's not an interception. A lot of receivers, ball's not there, they give up on the play. Julio Jones protects his team, protects his quarterback, and gives him another opportunity. Yeah! So they, they didn't lose the ball. They didn't lose the ball because the, that was not a clean interception, right? So he saved, he saved the, the possession. He saved the play for his, his quarterback. Man, that's even better. Let's watch that again, man. That's insane. Off his right. Well, actually, off his. Well, it was right left. Gets around him. Goes to the inside and then turns the turns to the outside, looking for that ball over his shoulder. The way he transitions his routes. That's sick. Really impressive. Julio Jones was like created in a laboratory or something. Like, look at it, right? Laboratory. Excuse me. They pronounce that right. It's a laboratory, bro. It is whether it's jumping, whether it's taking a couple extra steps to get it, he just plays the game. I think the right way. He's not a he's not a look at me guy. Mm. He's about catching the ball. He's about scoring touchdowns. About winning games. We get to play him twice every year. It's a fun challenge, but sometimes you wish I'm like, man, just stop, stop catching the ball so much. Stop Don't hold him. Julio's 96.7 receiving yards per game is the highest career average in history. 96.7 receiving yards per game on average throughout his entire career. He's got to be a first pick for fantasy, surely. Over 10 yards more per game than Mitchell 10 yards more per game than AB, wow. Even though AB is higher than him on the list. James Bradbury is the only member of this secondary still here from 2016 when Julio torched him for 300. One of just six 300 yard games in NFL history. Fuck. 300 yards in a game. I couldn't even sleep for real. I couldn't sleep for real. I couldn't go to sleep and I woke up early. <laughs> you think Julio's losing sleep? Nah, mate. <laughs> oh, what a cat. What do you say? From day one, he was already a complete package in terms of speed and power. Being able to go out and get some type of separation from DBs. Oh, oh my gosh, that's Julio Jones at his best. And he's just about to get smashed. Let's see what happens. Look at this little dancing, man. I love this shit. It's a mixture between a little, a little hop step, little goose step, little dead leg. It's just a little bit. Of, it's just a little bit of um, flair, natural flair. Look at this. Bang! Stop! Go! Oh my gosh, that's Julio Jones at his best. And holds the ball while getting smashed in the back. Who do you think is the number one wide receiver? Woo! The guy that I wouldn't want to go up and hit by myself would be Julio Jones. 
He can get open even when he's not open. Yeah, think about Julio Jones coming at you rather than AB. I mean, physically, if he's not going to try and juke you, if he's going to try and jump over you or run through you, I'd say Julio Jones would be the more devastating player. Jones was not going to be denied. He's a freak athlete. What a catch. Yep. This ball is tipped by Ogletree. Somehow Jones tips the ball back to himself and up the field the big timer goes. Hey, great catch on that break, Bob. On the hook. It's awesome. You know, once you had to climb the ladder with him deep downfield, that worked very well. We were playing in Atlanta, 2015. You're kidding. How far was that ball? That worked very well. We were playing in Atlanta. That's behind the 30 yard line. So we're talking, if it lands at the 10, that's 60. 2015. Well, it's, it's definitely 50. 50 something yards on the full. I thought I got up there pretty well. And then all I, all I hear or all I see was somebody's hands over the top of my head. Luke Kinkley! Yeah, man. <laughs> wow. Always open. Just Bro. because if you're Matt, you can throw anywhere near him. You know, if there's a guy on his left shoulder, Matt just throws it anywhere in front of him on his right shoulder. And that guy's so long, so big, that he's able to go get it. See, there's three fucking defenders around him. How did he get that? Jesus. Wow, what a catch by Julio Jones. His consistency and his explosiveness and his just play strength, I think, is what separates him. What do you do? How do you stop that? That fast, and that's what makes a guy like that fun to play against. How do you stop that? You put a guy with like a 4.3 flat 40 on him and just try and just try and stay, try and keep a hand on him, man. You probably just, yeah, not easy. Anyways, guys, that was Julio Jones. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. Um, yeah, certainly did. Who's in the next one? Aaron Rodgers. No way. The bad man, guys. I can't wait for this. We are in the top eight. I hope you've been enjoying the series so far. We're going to finish it off this morning. We're here in Melbourne. It's taken me about a month to get from number 100 down to number 8. But we're doing it. So if you have enjoyed this video, guys, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe for more, please do. If you want to check out my highlights uh, in the one scrimmage that I have played, uh, please go back in my videos and check that out. In fact, at this point, guys, you'll probably be seeing this video in about a month, which means that a whole heap is going to happen in the next month. I don't know what, I don't know how, I don't know where, I don't know when. But stay tuned to the channel and you'll find out. Peace out guys.